Welcome to FrostCon 14. We have worked half a year to make this happen, so we are happy that now everything begins. Um, let me start with our keynotes. Um, first, today uh, we have Stefan Wehrmeier, the head of the German Open Knowledge Foundation, and he will take a look on German laws and like from a, from a techie perspective, and he calls it uh, Demokratie DevOps. Uh, this talk being in German is so not for you, sadly, but uh, on Sunday we have a presentation by Molly de Blanc, and she, she will tell us uh, what's uh, needed to be a good open source citizen. So, um, let's talk about a bit about the essentials. Of course, uh, we have plenty of Club Mate, so we will make sure that you're uh, that you stay, uh, caffeinated and uh, hydrated. Um, also, uh, this year, thanks to our guest sponsors, we have a slush machine where we, where there will be like, uh, did we find the the non-alcoholic yes. stuff? Ah, yeah. So we have uh, alcohol uh, in the okay. not only for adults. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so in the beginning, we will start with the uh, uh, slush for kids, and the later the day goes, um, the more alcoholic it will be. Uh, also, we have again uh, popcorn for everyone. Um, we made sure that we have uh, the awesome coffee by uh, the coffee aunt to uh, translate it badly. And again, we have the guys from the C3. Walk, so we have plenty of waffles in the afternoon. And um, for a um, short introduction by the Fachbereich, I'd like to hand over to Said. <laughs> yes. Hello. Uh, I may welcome you in the name of the Department of Computer Science. Louder? It's better? Doesn't work. Yeah, well, I hear something, and I thought maybe there's a little bit sound. But uh, anyway, I made to welcome you. Uh, I'm here for the dean because he is not yet here, and um, well, the computer department of this University of Applied Sciences, Bonn Rhein Sieg, we are organizing the Frostcon since 14 years, and uh, it is a successful cooperation. And so, yeah, it's my pleasure to welcome you here. Uh, the university is still growing. We started uh, 25 years ago with uh, planned for about 3,000 students. Now we are about 9,000 and we are still growing. We are still raising new buildings around here and in Rheinbach where another uh, location of the university is located. And so we are very proud about the development of the university and we are proud about the FrostCon. It's one of the major conferences here at the university and it's lasting so long and every year. So we are very glad to have you all here and I hope you have a very nice conference, you have nice talks, you hear, to listen to nice talks, you have interesting discussions. Uh, so I wish you a pleasure to stay here at our university. Thank you. Also, welcome from my side. Hi. Um, after you had a lot of interesting talks this day, we will have our social event as every year. Um, this time we don't have barbecue, but still there's catering. So uh, there will be a food truck uh, offering veg vegan and vegetarian products uh, like, burger, uh, like uh, veggie burgers. Uh, also, we have our caterer, which is uh, responsible for the main catering here, will also cater our social event. There we will have some pulled pork uh, and uh, also other nice things to eat. Yeah, pulled beef. Uh, so, we're looking forward to it. And uh, as always, we have our uh, venue where you can get beer, mostly important. Uh, it will be the same procedure as last year. You will uh, have to buy some uh, bands and then you can eat, uh, eat and drink for free the whole evening for free. Uh, you know. <laughs> 
after you paid for the uh, for the paper on your wrist, then you can have for free the whole evening. <laughs> so, also something we introduced last year, we will continue this year. We have our vote boxes. One is positioned there and there, and uh, in every exit of the uh, of the lecture rooms, there will be vote boxes where you can just. Do a quick vote, uh, push on one of the four buttons to say if you like the talk, dislike the talk. And we are working on it to have the uh, results of that vote into our um, conference system so that uh, also the speakers, uh, I see some, some people sitting here, uh, can get, get the instant feedback from that. Because last year we only, only we had the feedback, but we couldn't, couldn't put it into our um, schedule system. This year we are working on it to having, having it there. So uh, please vote after each talk so uh, we know which talks were good and which were bad. Wi-Fi, basically the same as last year. Uh, SSID Froscon and the password is Froscon 0D12. So uh, uh, there are also some signs hanging around here and uh, maybe next year we have some QR codes so you don't have to enter it manually. We're working on that, you know, new technology and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's basically from my side. Now we'll hand over back to Scotty. So, to get your Twitter game or your hashtag game on point, so the hashtag for this year again is hashtag Frostcon, hashtag Frostcon 13, uh, 14. Uh, I, I changed the slides. I should know that we are in year 14 now. Uh, recent changes uh, to the program, there are none. So, no, no short term um, cancellations of any speakers so far. Fingers crossed. Um, again, we have a large bouncy slide into a ball pit, like six meters high into a ball pit. I think they are building it up right now. It's for small and big nerds. And in addition, since only one ball pit is boring, we have another bouncy castle with a ball pit next to it. So it's uh, like me, it's huge. Uh, also, I think it just arrived, we have unicorn bull riding in the, <laughs> in the courtyard. Um, if, I don't know if, it, if I, I, I'm told, I'm not watching this, but I'm told this is uh, famous from Germany's next top model. Um, and as usual, uh, this conference runs on volunteers, so if you get bored and uh, can spare a couple of hours, for example, recording a session like this, please go to helfer.frostcon.de or go to the help, uh, helping, helpers room and they will, they will put you to work. Especially tomorrow in the evening during teardown, then we need every uh, helping hands. And since every year, um, we usually, we, we, in our experience, we face one challenge. And the, um, this year the challenger appeared I think eight, nine days ago, we got an email that someone found like a press release from the city of St. Augustine that they are doing roadworks. Um, if you came here, there's like a roundabout right in front of the, the venue and the um, zebra crossings there are a bit faded. So they decided, hey, let's renew them. And what date would be perfect? How about Sunday the 11th? Because there's nothing happening in St. Augustine on that date. I actually had a, I, I, like, when I heard, I phoned them up and they were like, yeah, but I, I, I checked with my colleagues, there are no events planned. I, I was like, well, I sent you, uh, I asked you for permission like a month ago for an event, like to your department. Nobody told me, so yeah. So for tomorrow, we have uh, pre uh, pre um, prepared a little scavenger hunt, so to speak. So what you see in red is like the normal roundabout. This is from six o'clock till twelve o'clock. They will, um, they will uh, block. They will close like one of the uh, each uh, streets for like an hour. So. We don't know when, what will happen, so you might be able to get through somehow, but there should be people around like giving you directions. They, I asked them to warn the people that's, that are working there that there are like thousands of people coming want to go there. So the, the trick is like, there's like another parking spot like in front of the, the main building, like next to the mall. You can park there for free and the best is like drop your car there and just walk like the 200 meters. And you can see this is also on other website. If you, I think at the bottom, 
There's like a news article roadworks on Saturday uh, on Sunday, and uh, I'm optimistic that you'll make it here tomorrow morning. So then I will take over for a short uh, short interruption. Um, most of you more, more likely have seen these ones. These are our evaluation sheets, which are in every visitor bag. So if you got the bag, uh, or in this case a backpack kind of, uh, then there is this sheet inside. Uh, the new stuff this year is, you can also fill it out online. So if you uh, forgot to put it uh, in our evaluation box at the end of the conference, or if you leave, uh, there's a QR code and URL here, on here. On there, and we will post it on Twitter and uh, whatnot. So if you uh, leave the venue and forgot to fill out these forms, you can do this online this year. Uh, and uh, feel free to give us the feedback because we want to incorporate every feedback we get. We do this. We, uh, we, we read the feedback you send us. We don't forget it. And so please give feedback after you've been here so we can improve the conference. Yeah, and then the final thank you. Ah, you're right. You changed it. Ah, nice. <laughs> the final thank you to our sponsors because without our sorry partners, uh, this conference wouldn't be possible. You wouldn't get in here for free. You would have to pay large fees, which we don't want to because it's an open source conference. So uh, we're going to give a thank big thank you to our partners uh, this year uh, and that they support us, and we hope that they will support us next year. Feel free to talk with them if you are inter interested in these companies. They are likely to talk to you uh, and give you some insights what they do. So. Thanks a lot, and then I guess that's the end of our talk. Thank you, and enjoy the conference this year. <laughs>